fun. I'm going to be introducing author Reese Bowen, and I got to talk to her on the phone about two weeks ago. Her book came out this week. We are talking about this book right here, Four Funerals and Maybe a Wedding. Nobody writes historical fiction like Reese does. I love her so much. We had an amazing conversation. So everybody, here is Reese. Hi, everyone. I am so excited because I'm speaking again to author Reese Bowen, and we're talking about her brand new book called Four Funerals and Maybe a Wedding. And it came out August 7th. And thank you so much for talking with me again. Oh, it's my pleasure, Michelle. This is such a fun book. This is the first one I've read in this series, and I just loved it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I have to say, they're a lot of fun to write. You know, I sit and chuckle when I write them, too, which is kind of, it's very therapeutic. Yes. Sometimes, you know, I read a lot of serious books, and I love when I come across a book like this, where I can just, like, sit back and relax and, and read a really fun book, and that's how I describe it. It's just really fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's talk about the um, the title. Okay, and I don't want to do any giveaways. So when you were coming up with the title, how did you? What was? What were you thinking about with the story? Well, this is the twelfth book in the series, and my heroine, Lady Georgie, who you know some of us know, is thirty fifth in line to the throne and penniless. She's had rather a tough time. She's, you know, she has no money. It's the nineteen thirties, the Great Depression. She's tried to various jobs, which have all been absolute disastrous failures. But now it looks as if everything's going to be rosy for her. Um, she's been proposed to by this wonderful man called Darcy O'Mara, <laughs> and she has a wedding to look forward to in the future, we hope. And I thought, well, it would be fun. How about if we start off with everything looking as if it's wonderful and about to go well? Um, and, of course, you know, since there's a wedding in it, I wanted a, a really fun title. And I was I was playing, I was thinking, oh, yes, well, what, you know, four weddings and a funeral. And I thought, well, how about it? It's, Four funerals. funerals. <laughs> and maybe a wedding. <laughs> yes, I love it. And, and you know, I do love her so much. And I love how you weave, like, the English history into this. And, you know, what's, it, I wouldn't call it historical fiction, but we definitely get a sense of where she is in history. Yes. You know? Well, you know, I think if you're going to write a novel, a historical novel that's set in a place and time, your characters would be aware of that place and time and whatever's going on. You know, if, when I'm writing my other series, the Molly Murphy ones in New York, if there was a blizzard, if there was an election, if there was a, a train crash, she'd know all about those. So I want to make sure that Georgie, although it's a fun book, is tied clearly to what's going on in the world at this time. I mean, we know about the Prince of Wales and Mrs. Simpson. We know about yes. Hitler taking power in Germany. You know, we, we are aware of things. The one thing I can't do is any foreshadowing. They don't know there's going to be another war. They think they've had the war to end all wars, which is rather sad. Yes. Yes. And, you know, she does reference that, the one her mom talks about going to Germany. And she, you know, and then her mom, yeah. like, kind of poo-poos her, like, don't worry yeah. about me. I, you know, yeah. I can handle myself. Yeah. And, yeah. and you kind of see that they're a little bit hesitant, but not, you know, not yeah. overly. I mean, they don't think Hitler can last at this stage. I mean, they think he's so over the top that, you know, he won't, he, he will be supplanted by someone more sensible and serious. So, you know, we know and they don't, which is a shame. <laughs> Right. And I love, okay, so for everybody who, you know, this is their first one. First of all, you can't tell, okay? This is the first one I read, it, and it doesn't matter. Like, this is a standalone for me. Yes, I, I, I would love to go back and read the others, though, yeah. because I do try so and make it, each of the books complete on them by the, because there's nothing more annoying than picking up a book in the middle of a series and yes. going, no, wait a minute, what was that about <laughs> when they said, you know, you, you need to, I mean, so I try and reference back briefly to, you know, where we are, who the characters are, without boring the people who've read the series before, but just giving people a, a taste of where we are and the relationships. Yeah, and, and to find out that she is the granddaughter, her grandmother is Queen Victoria's daughter. Yes, right. right so yeah. she's, okay. Yes. Okay, so she's like great-granddaughter of Queen yes, Victoria. Great-granddaughter, but yes, she is, yes. 
Well, and I love Queen Victoria, so I love her. <laughs> especially since all you know the mini series oh, and yeah, you know on yeah. TV and yeah. stuff. That, you know, you feel very connected to her. Mm-hmm. But okay, yeah. and I'm looking. Everybody, while we're speaking, is looking at the cover, and I love this cover. I love the colors. I lo- I love everything about this cover. And you always have such great covers, so it didn't well, shock I'm very me. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> They give me complete cover input. You know, they say at the beginning, what do you want on the cover? And then we looked at photographs of 1930s wedding dresses. And then I actually know the, the cover artist. I live near San Francisco, and he lives in San Francisco. And um, oh. and he sent me the sketch, the very first sketch he ever did of Georgie. He sent me frames. So I've got that on my wall looking at me. And, oh. And so, you know, I really can say, well, can we make the staircase a little grander? Could we have a dark man sort of loitering in the background, you know? Yeah. And and so I get every all all the things I like, which is very lucky. Yeah, it has that feel to it, like with the, you know, where the yeah. title is, uh, you know, yeah. the the um, eyelet, like, you know, lace for like yeah. a wedding. Oh, and, yeah. and, you know, yeah. yeah, and when I did, you know, I didn't, when I looked at it, you know, at first, I didn't even notice the man. And then after I looked at it, I was like, oh, there he is, you yeah. know, kind of yeah. wandering yeah. in the background. And, yeah. you know, so I, I love that. But anyway, so I'm going to tell everybody the first line of this book because I love first lines. And, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you say, things are actually going smoothly for once. And when I went back and reread that after reading the book, I just chuckled because, <laughs> no, nothing goes smoothly. <laughs> Precisely. And, you know, every every chapter starts with a small diary entry of hers. And, yeah. And, and this the, this first one ends up with, and to quote Jane Bennett, how shall I bear so much happiness? And I have to tell you, when, when my husband was reading this, he looked up and he said, Who's Jane Bennett? I nearly divorced him on the spot. I mean, I had to tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, you don't know who Jane Bennett is? He said, no. And I said, sorry, we can't be compatible in any way. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, after all these years, it's no yeah, longer no. going to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I love the diary entries. And every, you know, I look forward yeah. to them for every yeah. chapter, you know, yeah. because it kind of sets it up for her. And like I said, when I went back and read it, I was like, that is so funny because nothing goes smoothly for poor her, you know, like no, poor George. No. Nothing goes smoothly. <laughs> no, poor girl, no, nothing will ever go smoothly for her. If you love your characters, you can make them suffer, you know. So yes. she's never going to have an easy life as long as I write her. And then I always love the, the last line of the first chapter because I always think it sets up the rest of the book. And you wrote, of course, I said, speaking of Georgie, she sang, yeah. giving her a winning smile, definitely bagpipes. And it's like, and there you go. Like, already she's making <laughs> compromises on this wedding that she yeah, just yeah. wants to be simple. And, you yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the poor girl, She all she would like is a lovely little country simple wedding with her and Darcy getting married and a few friends around. And, of course, being who she is. Uh, the first, the first thing that that the first spoke in the wheel here is the Queen saying, "Well, we hope that you intend to invite us." Okay, so the Queen and Queen come to your wedding. It's not going to be exactly small. <laughs> and then the Queen saying, "And of course, your relatives across Europe." Everybody's right. thinking the crowned heads of Europe are now coming to my wedding. You know, and the and the King, of course, can't he can't um, understand the fact that she's marrying a Catholic. Therefore, she won't get married in Westminster Abbey. And, I mean, oh. Georgie would have hated Westminster Abbey anyway. Can you imagine walking down that all that aisle? And then, <laughs> so, you know, the king the king says, well, can't she get married properly in Westminster Abbey and then have some Catholic chappy come in and swing some incense or something afterwards? And, you know, so, so it just gets more and more complicated. Oh, and then the queen also. The queen suggests that um, the two little princesses, Margaret and yes. Elizabeth, would love to be bridesmaids. Yes, I love yeah. that. I I, uh, I don't know. I you know the history buff in me just loved yeah. all of your references in there. Yeah. You know to know who they are to do yeah. to to be introduced to her relatives. You know, yeah, like, I, I, I I love making things real because then you believe she's real. You know, right. no, yeah, right. And after the wedding we just went through, you know, with with yeah. um, Harry and Meghan, very, and very was, good timing, wasn't it? Yes, it was very good timing, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. but who? Only, only Georgie wouldn't want the the whole, you know, thing that she's trying to make smaller and everybody is trying to make bigger yeah. and, you yeah. know. Yeah. 
Or perhaps <laughs> Meghan and Harry felt the same, you know. Perhaps they did, you know. You never know. It was no. quite an ordeal, but I did love it so much. Yeah. So, um, and another thing I love, I mean, it's, it's a perfect, we don't give away the ending, but it's perfectly awesome and, and happy and it made me smile and, you know, which is how I love love yeah. books to go and um so you know this is what the, did you say 12th one 12th book yes yeah. yeah so i guess we're not done now we're not done with no no, no 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 okay i mean i'm i'm going to keep on till georgie and Doug collect social security this up <laughs> and, right. and i have to say i've just come back from a book tour all around the country and in one of the places um one of when I when the books were being signed afterwards, this woman brought her book up to me and she said, "Well, while you were talking, I couldn't resist. I read the last page and I loved it." And I said, "No, that's naughty. You're not allowed to read the last page." Uh. <laughs> I said, "Don't you dare tell anybody else either." Right. <laughs> oh, I know. I I can't do that. I just can't. First of all, most of the time it doesn't make sense, and who wants to ruin all that fun? No, I don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> no. I, no I always tell people that. Don't read the last page because you won't care anyway. It won't matter, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fun is the book. That's the fun part, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think definitely with Georgia, you know, the fact that they are mystery novels, and at some stage there are going to be bodies in them, that's not the main part. The main part is just sort of experiencing Georgie's life at the time. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I was watching our um, video that we did back in December, I think, and I, you know, I couldn't believe that <laughs> when we talked about your writing, like you you write at least two books a year. Yes, yeah. And I, you know, as I'm watching you talk about it again, I was just like, you are so inspiring because I know so many authors that have a hard time with one book a year. And, you know, the fact that you keep keeping up with these series and you have two series going and then you stick a standalone in every once in a while. And it's just, it's incredible. I mean, it's an incredible schedule to be on. And, it's to, you, know, insane. Was, you know, I'm a crazy woman. That's <laughs> the truth. <laughs> I, I was like, how much writing do you do a day? I do. Um, when I'm, I try, I try and get a first draft done in three months. So I make myself do about fifteen hundred words, about five pages a day. And mm. if I know I can't leave till I've done my five pages for the day, then I make myself do them. And that way, I know I'm going to have a, a finished book in three, you know, finished first draft in three months. And I've got good time to sort of polish it and rewrite it and everything else. But um, you know, when you are writing two books a year, it does sort of hang over your head a bit that you have to get, you know, you have to get it finished. Right. Right. Um, you start with a good working outline first? Oh, I have no outline at all. Um, oh. In fact, when I talk at writers' conferences, I sort of <laughs> look the blank despair on people's faces when I say, I really, I start off knowing very little. Um, sometimes I know who's going to be killed. Sometimes, I usually know why. Um, I know... You know, I, sometimes I know what I want to happen to Georgie. But if I did an outline, I would take a look at it and I'd say, oh, well, that's that book done. Let's go on to the next one. I like to be mm. – I'm, I'm like my readers. I like to be surprised. And, um, you know, sometimes my characters will do and say things, and I think, oh, that's that's amazing. I didn't really think that would happen. And, you know, I'm surprised too. So that's how I like to be. I like to feel I'm one step behind them, following them as opposed to being the puppet master and being ahead of them, you know, and making them do things whether they want to or not. So um, it's a bit scary. Every book I, I write, the first hundred pages, I'm pretty much in panic mode, like, oh, God, this isn't going to work out. What am I going to say? This will be a huge failure, blah, blah, blah. And then I begin to see the story unfolding, and then, and then, it's, then it's quite fun. So, um, well, I, I I love for uh, early writers to hear that because, you know, every book you read about writing is like you have to have an outline. You have to follow, you know, the book will write itself if you have an outline, you know, yeah. kind of a kind of a system. So but yeah. but with her, like I can totally see how you you know these characters so well yeah. that you want to see yeah. what they say to you, yeah. you know. And, and, you know, if I had an outline, I might have to force them to do things so when they wanted to go off in one direction. And I'd say, oh, no, in the next scene, you're going to find a body here. And, you know, mm. um, uh, it, it, and it always evolves into something really fun and something I hadn't expected beforehand. Like, oh, yes, well, I didn't think about that, you know. 
So I can't tell you any of the things that happened in this book because they're all real spoilers, you know. But um, right, right. Yeah. No, we don't do spoilers, and it was no, too much no. fun anyway. Yes, it's it's yes. way it's way fun. Okay, so yes. this is all right. It's August. Are you do you have a Christmas book coming out, or is this it? Till next spring. No, it's no, no Christmas book this year. I'm not that crazy this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, the last time I did three books in a year, my husband said, "Don't you dare say yes to that again," ever, um, because I guess yeah. I was really cranky. Um, no, I have a book. I have another standalone coming out in February, um, and that's been a lot of fun to write too. Because you know, the stand. I love my series. It's like going back to meet old friends every time yeah but then there's so many ideas i've had that you know are not part of a series and not uh and i just want to explore something and this next one is going to take place in world war one i've done two books <gasps> uh, about world war two yes and th- this one is going to be about um the women's land army and um so many you know so many men were killed in england that there were crops rotting in the fields, so they had to mobilize women to come and uh do the farm jobs and so you had this incredible mixture of women ranging from servants and widows and um, upper class girls all working together and all forming this really amazing bond. So it's been a fun book to write about. It's called The Victory Garden. Oh, I can't wait. Please. You yes. know I'll read it. I will read it early. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> because I yes. love your world. I read both your World War II books. They were yes. amazing. I, I love – you're such an amazing storyteller, seriously. I, I love all your books. And that's why I was so happy that I got to read this one finally because I really wanted to read a series book of yes. yours. And yes. I just uh, – <laughs> I loved every word of it, every word. So. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait. You know, I'll be I'll be right there in February reading that book. So, <laughs> so everybody, I you know, you're all looking at this cover. I am going to be giving away a copy of it today when this is posted on my Instagram account, which will be listed below. And thank you so much, Reese. Thank you for allowing me to read it and for talking with me again. And I hope we talk again soon. Oh, thanks, Michelle. I hope so too. Next book, oh, we'll check again. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Isn't she awesome? I love her so much. I cannot wait for her next book. I love her books, and I'm sure I said that enough when I was talking to her. But anyway, all the links will be listed below, along with the Amazon link where you can go today and buy this book. Um, Also, I'll be giving away a book today. Okay, over on my Instagram account, Writing Fun Instagram, and I'll be giving away a book. So I just want to thank you, Reese. Thank you, everyone, for listening.